Yes. Nice and tight. Looking good. Okay, now we're getting pretty close to finishing this uh, casting. And one of the issues is if you look uh, on this flange here, there's a radius on that corner. And you can see these bolt holes come quite close to that radius. So when we put a, put a bolt through or a stud comes through here and we tighten up a nut on there, um, one of the issues you're going to get is that uh, the edge of the nut is going to rub against that corner and that has a few issues that will um, scratch up your paint and also it would tend to bend the stud. You need, what we really need to do is to um, spot face that hole so the shoulders are perfectly um, square to the hole and the nut has a, has a flat surface to, to, to seat on. Now, um, the issue with doing that is that this uh, bearing journal here is right on the center line of that hole. Okay? So uh, we really need to do it from behind and we need to make a counter bore uh, that w we drop through there and uh, attach to the drill or the mill or whatever and spin it from this side. So this is a piece of silver steel um, it's high carbon steel that can be uh, quenched to harden it and at the moment it's, it's, it's soft and it's ground comes ground to um, a set diameter. This is about, I don't know what it is, it's about six mil, something like that. It might be a quarter of an inch. So what we need to do is to drill, drill out this uh, centre so that we can put our what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to machine this up, uh, machine mach, machine down the sides, and and sharpen it and and make it so it, it attaches to a little shaft. So we'll drill out the centre and attach the shaft. <laughs> This is 5.30 seconds. It should be clean. Now we'll put this in the mill and we'll take down the sides. Thank uh -huh. 
right, now we've just got to put a hole through there. So now, uh, we've got our, got our little part. I'll heat him up to red hot. sharpen it. Alright, hopefully we're in focus and I'll put some black sharpie on so we can see the progress. Okay, here's our uh, flange, and that's where we want a counter bore. And this is our counter bore. There we go. Came out beautiful. We've got our little Allen key in there. I put a flat on the little shaft, and it's set up to cut in reverse. So when we put it through there, we turn it a normal way a drill would go that way it's going to cut so let's try it make sure our vice is tight get the old cordless nice and tight looking good chunk out of our flange there we might have to bog that up all right i just wanted to finish with a couple of quick points about making this um, counter bore uh, the first thing was uh, you don't need a surface grinder to make one you could sharpen it up with even a diamond stone would be fine or a, a grinder whatever you whatever you've got will work uh, it's a good idea to make this shaft a standard size so if you make them one eighth the best practice is to drill your hole one eighth counter bore it and then open it up to the size you need 
and then everything's set up in the in the mill you wouldn't have to use your cordless drill as i did which was a bit of a bodge uh, and also there's no chance of opening out the holes. I did find a very useful article on the internet about uh, making counterbores and that's a technique I use. So I'll put a link to that in the description. A really useful tool. So thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe. I could use some subscribers. Um, and uh, see you next time. Bye for now.